Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Create Arcane Engineering, brought to you by our lovely server hosting sponsor. As far as the eye can see, everything the light doesn't touch down here is Apex Hosting, hosting this server, and you can use code, whatever our codes are, below the stream of the YouTube video in order to grab yourself 25% off your first month of server hosting. Maybe play some Create Arcane Engineering with your friends, play along with us, or Vanilla, or another mod pack, whatever floats your goat, and um, yeah, check them out. Thanks to them for sponsoring. Where were you looking when you said the light doesn't touch down here? Oh, I'm just, I'm underground in the in the big old cave mine area because I've been doing oh, a yeah, lot. Oh yeah, that's not where my mind went. Anyway, hi boys. Hello, I have been you? doing some big mineage since last episode. I just mined a singular diamond ore and got five diamonds for it and farted. So that's pretty exciting. There's a lot going on right there in that sentence. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's a very busy sentence. Yeah. Well, did you see that we have a lot of andesite alloy now? Oh, yeah. We have a lot of andesite alloy and we have a lot of kinetic mechanisms. Um, Indeed. I actually took the, you had a, you had like a copper upgrade in the kinetic mechanism drawer and I was like, we don't need 16,000 kinetic mechanisms. So I took it and put it somewhere else. But, hmm. but why not? So you put a gold one in? I, yeah, there's like 10,000 in there now. Why, why are you upset? What's wrong? So, uh, how are you guys doing today? Leaves. <laughs> Good. I don't know why we wouldn't need 10,000. Well, now we can make all the machines we could ever want. I see no problem with this. Including time machines for applied and resistance. Jordan, would you like to inform the audience of your endeavors? Oh, I have done nothing relating to that at all. I was literally just down oh, here mining. Oh, click T mining. and look at the I was just down line. here mining ores. I vein mine fortune to Certus, and I ended up getting some Certus. I and, hate when I just end up progressing through mods accidentally. What a terrible thing. Anyway, I, digital source today, boys? No, like, I I don't, I don't, it's, it's actually, unless you know something that I don't, it's, it's actually not going to happen today. And I'm the one who <laughs> would really like for it to happen above all else. But I did, uh, I upgraded one of the, I upgraded the create chest to diamond as I well. I that. And you added another pretty, windmill. I did add another windmill. It looks like a foot kicking a kicky ball. And, you know, wasn't necessarily my intent, but it's the way that it'd be. Okay. Isn't it nice? Okay. And then, I think it looks like good. Kicky balls. Then, then you dedicated resources to overbuilding stuff, right? You mean just having an upgrade to the freaking, to the, to the drawer? Yep. Yep. I've ruined the series, guys. It's all over. Yes, that was those are literally my words. Anyway, uh I also I sped up the some of the the spinny spin. Um sped up I did see that. Too. Yeah. And then I also added extra stuff so that we generated more men reel because we were going through and, and it was all getting consumed and I wanted to try and Maximize our efficiency and yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you explain? Because I saw oh, your whole expansion down here. Um, well, all I do is I just extract. Oh my god. Menreal from the trees, and then I dry uh -huh. it out into chunks, and then underneath I chop it into the the little chunks, and then it gets wasted and built into things we don't need. When you say wasted and built into things we don't need, are you upset about having ten thousand no. kinetic mechanisms? No. Nope, we're good. So anyway, uh, yeah, it just this just speeds up the uh, getting the mineral chunks though. It's just a second. It's a different way to do it without chopping all the stuff. I do like the chopping just because it gives us the logs and everything as well. Uh -huh. But this way we can this focuses on just the mineral. Um, I'm not really sure, Pete, what you were talking about with the um, gravity and 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 pipes connecting thing. Oh no, the gravity was a hoax. So. <laughs> If uh, you ever, like, have pipes and you need to put them next to each other, you can you can right-click with a, uh, a wrench and turn it into a glass pipe, and then it won't connect with what it's not already connected with. Mm. You yeah, know, that, that wasn't the problem. It was like the trees were so... Or, uh, the extractors were so close together, and one pump near the corner of where I put the mixer um, 
wasn't like having them all pull correctly. So some of the extractors were like putting uh, resin back into other extractors. So Before anyone like says throw all this all in the smell tree, it, to the side. it, it is so much that the 1.2 whatever. Yeah, it was getting certain because I needed to add a second. I'm not. Pump it's not worth the effort. The we can get so much now with, all the way with main out, minus. Like, oh, far enough, Rick. Right. Um, so yeah, like okay. what you have right here with the dual channels was something that I couldn't really do with how close everything was together. Gotcha. Um, but yeah. Cool. Well, and uh, so anyway, that's uh, I I made a little path down using the water and just made it i actually like this was something that is simple but i was really i was really happy uh to kind of figure out which is just that i use the direction of the saw to actually move uh things instead of having to have another oh that's cool Wait, yeah what? without Let having to have another belt to, to shove it over into the right spot i just use the, the saw progress instead so that's the, oh, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. The, saw, the saw moves okay. it where I needed it to, and I liked that. So nice, simple enough. But at any rate, this is uh, that's what I kind of worked on, just expanding this area. Nice job, man. It's funny the uh, arboreal extractors are, are are dumb, and so the uh, enriched mineral logs in the trees will break them. So they won't detect this having enough to be an actual tree. So you have to actually go and find, like strip the tree of enriched menreal and replace it with proper logs and then they'll connect up oh huh um so also i i was informed of a uh, an important discovery <clears throat> which is that you can generate lava not from just the heck bark trees but also from the uh like fire archwood whatever so i went up to one of the uh sky islands and i grabbed some archwood saplings and uh or the fiery red ones and so those can now be grown into the trees and we can arboreal extract and we can start generating lava if and when we wish to do that. If and when being right now, I'm on it. Cool. Oh, okay. He's on it. He's on it. Like blue bonnet. Flashing archwood. These are the ones? Really? The red one, yeah. Oh, blazing archwood, okay. So yeah, I don't have to worry about dealing with the terribleness of trying to find more and more of the same biome in the nether in order to just hope that one of these days I find one of the heck bark leaves that decides to drop a sapling. This was a big improvement for it was Sounds a nice, day. yeah. And these uh blazing archwood aren't difficult to get. Like if I bone meal one and turn it into a tree, I should get like a handful of saplings back. Oh yeah, it's it's totally easy. I didn't even chop the whole thing down. I felt bad because the island was so pretty that I d I didn't want to wow. you know you know, um, also, I did grab a couple of the lily pads of fertility that were up there. I don't know if you also grabbed those when you went, but no, um, I didn't mess with nature. Oh, OK, because you're nicer than I am, I guess. The entire chat, though, they were just like destroy everything. And I was oh, like, cool. no, but it's so pretty. Um, also, I opened up some of the loot boxes that we that are acquired by redeeming challenge rewards. Mm -hmm. And um, in doing so, acquired a good deal of some machines and stuff. If you look inside of the big create chest, we have brass funnels, brass tunnels, uh, more mixers, presses, a couple more saws. We even have precision mechanisms. We could make one brass thing if we oh, wow. wanted to. We can choose wisely. We have a mechanical arm, which is pretty cool. Zine's uh, grabbing some stuff. It seems like you have interest. Also, um, these... Tasks, deforesting task, fishing task, mining task. Apparently we can do these, and these are the way that we get currency um, that we can, you know, buy stuff with silver and whatnot. I was told that unlike Create Above and Beyond, you cannot actually sell things to get currency. You can only buy things with currency you get by doing the tasks. So, anyway, that's, uh, that's what's up. Oh my up god, and fishing stuff. episode. We could do a deforesting, or I want to I wanna roll a mining task, and I want to see what happens. Also, we have a starbuncle wheel, which if we find a starbuncle, we can put it in the hamster wheel and put a piece of gold in front of it, and it will run, and it will make RF, supposedly, is how it works. Interesting. Yeah. Wait. Huh. Oh, wait, it already has a starbuncle? No way. Oh. You guys want to see some craziness in action? Sure. Always. Oh, oh, and also you'll notice in like the uh, ore chest, 
um, that I have some stack upgrades. So things can stack to 256. We can upgrade the stack upgrades. Obviously, it's just like the backpacks. And uh, yeah, it's kind of kind of nifty. 54 schmackaroos. That's impressive. Oh, and Pete, I also dramatically sped up your stamper about 800 times. I'm sorry. My stamper? Oh, yeah, that yeah. was me that made oh, that. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, I just didn't want to. I I didn't know that we had the the you know stress when we were just water wheels. So I also like. Do you, Zine? Do you know if it's a new thing in the new versions of Create that you can just have the shaft spinning whatever speed into the windmill? Uh, that's not new. No, it's not. They've, never, they, they've always had to say it to match rotation speed. They haven't had to match or, or rotation direction. They never. They haven't had to match rotation speed. Really? It just like yeah. adjusts the amount of stress it that's being just, used. Doesn't worry about it. It's you know you're generating 300 oh. stress here. You're generating 800 stress there. You've got yourself 1100 stress. Huh? How? What do you know? What's this fishing task? Oh God. Oh, collect 30 calcite. That's easy. Wait, that was the. I want to do. I want to see a fishing task. Collect two salmon buckets. Well, that's pretty easy. 11 silver, 19 silver. Cool. Hey Pete, did you want to collect two salmon buckets for a fishing task? Heck yeah. There you go, mate. I just got accused of being in charge of making the the windmills, and I want that to categorically be denied. <laughs> I saw him build it yesterday. I would have made them much more irritating if it were me. You're right. Mine are far too beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, now if I were going to be a Starbuncle generating electricity, where would I be? Maybe in Pete's pretty cave. I don't know if I have any of those in there. What? No, you do. He just denied you. That's what it, that's the, the, the what. He's like, mm. Whoa, he goes turbo! Holy heck! Look at him go! Wait, you watch this, watch. No gold? He's motivated. Oh, it's or not it's power, worse. it's just rotation? Okay, nice, dude. So stress? Yeah, I guess it's just stress. If I break it, does it go back and, like, he's... Then it's broken. He's still in there. No, okay, it doesn't just, like, eject the Starbuncle. <laughs> it's a free... Yeah, it was like, will he just end up on the ground? So it's a free 2,000 stress. Oh. That's good. Where should I input this? Hmm. Anywhere in the system that you want to place it. I, yeah, I just don't know if the, like, does the direction matter? Um, Not if you employ the use of a gearbox. That's so true. That's so very true. Well, no, I just, like, does the speed and the direction. Let's see what happens if I just put him there. Oh, he vroom? He move? He looks like he's going, wait, is the thing, I think the thing might be spinning him. It's hard to tell. This is why I was like, hey, we should get a stressometer. Or the goggles. Uh, but from what I understand, the goggles do nothing. Keep the Starbuncle well fed. They've been known to eat them salt. What? How do I feed him? With this is too much responsibility, man. There's the sparkles I know. Yeah, what the frick? Okay, Did well, we want to build a quest station with the currency that we have accumulated now? We could. We could, we could. Let me go get some calcite. Do a quick questerino. Is the quest station a new block, or do you know what it does already? Um, I don't. It, it doesn't look the way that in the way it looks here is not the way it looked in Create Above and Beyond. So I don't know if the interface is going to be different. Uh, okay, because that would require uh, a brass machine with the eight precision mechanisms, and I didn't know if that's like the thing that I we see. want to invest into creating that or not. Because, yeah, in terms of, like, oh, Amadron tablet. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Copper Wait, you can get so much that? stuff with coins. Yeah, you can buy a ton. Indeed. Oh, wow. Um, so, Zine, what are you going for at the moment? Are you doing the extra Chapter 1 stuff? I just... Picking up stuff and like looking through the quest and and cleaning up the the leftovers right now. Okay, gotcha. Oh, um, nothing 
in particular of note one way or the other. Just, you know, again, figuring out we've done these. Let's go pick it up or do whatever and making sure that we have all the correct things. The Eternal Saw would be nice, money. but 64 silver coins seems like a lot for what we have right now. Um, I mean, we do have quite a few little quests that we could do at the moment, which would probably get us there. Pete, I'm putting money over here. I do like money. Money. Oh, wait, in the... Oh, okay. I just put it in the crate stuff. I'll put it over there. Um, cool. I wonder if I should do a couple enchantments now that I have some levels. Do I do I enchant a piece of armor if it doesn't show prop four? Interesting. What do you what are your guys' policies on enchanting? Do you enchant if it doesn't show prop four? Maybe I'll do uh, no. No? Okay. Just do the axe. Wow, efficiency four and efficiency four alone. What? This cool. is ballsed up. Oh, infinity, that's good. Oh, infinity power four. Thank that's you. That's really cool. That's oh. pretty cool. It's not power five, but pretty good. Don't rain on my parade, man. Just talking about power five after our whole debacle last time. That's all. Was it a debacle? I mean, I don't know. I felt pretty buckled. <laughs> yeah, but you just said you felt debuckled. That was stupid, wasn't it? <laughs> were you buckled or were you debuckled? They sound like opposites. Now, is buckle like a word here we have to go off of? Kind of like whelmed? It's a good question. Um, wish I wish I knew the answer. Because like debuckling, you know, presumes that you're undoing a buckle. But is buckling the tense of buckling something to be debuckled later? I'm so serious about this right now. This is not a bit. I believe you. Uh, I I I know and I know the answer. Zine, do you? It's uh, all you, bud. Oh, I thought maybe you'd be like an etymology man or something right now. Nope. No. Huh. Sorry to disappoint. Dang. Yeah. Dang. Mm-hmm. That's sad. Yep. I thought you knew everything. Nope. Well, I guess that's that. It is. Prick. We can come back to this later. Um, also, though, we have a lot of sheep now, and so whenever we need a new windmill we can kind of just make them on demand which is i think like pretty cool stuff and things you know nice yeah it's pretty nice pretty nice okay Balls. So, do we want to start on the first uh, magical section today? Sure. Okay. Should that be the plan? Sounds like a plan. I was thinking it could be the plan, but if you don't want it to be the plan, it doesn't have to be the plan. Not implying one way or the other. Zine silence speaks I, volumes, though. I'm just reading and, and going through and clicking. I'm just, I'm just reading, clicking. What you reading about? Uh, I mean, we have all these different like descriptions of things to kind of do in the <laughs> chapter zero that I'm just glancing through and seeing what it's saying, and nothing that's like necessarily needing to be passed on too much it explains nomadic craft i am a little amused that there's one for lychee which is like here you have to go in and check mark it and it says a utility mod for mod pack devs that provides in world recipes like dropping items and fluids etc <laughs> nothing for you to worry about like thanks for the info what why is it why why did you create a quest for it then that i have to check on it if it's like but 
it, okay. So, um, because why rate. not? Because why not? Um, I think we've done the loot box. So, as far as I can see in chapter zero, the only thing we've really got is uh, a rune and corundum. We need to find those if we haven't already found them somewhere. But no, Jordan find oh, like kind of early on. I right saw here. a conundrum on the ground somewhere. Yeah. Um, oh, we have a waxed one, but it apparently is not the correct one. Okay, so our objective here is what is our what is our goal to be produced? Are we trying to like produce conundrum? Runic tablet. Deploy a rune on a smooth stone slab to make a runic tablet. A runic tablet. How are we acquiring runes on a regular basis? Oh, okay, I see, I see. These are the two starting points. Got it. I was seeing the direction incorrectly. So we need to find runes is what it seems like. No, so we need to... So conundrum is used in order to produce runes. Um, so let's see. So we use rune dust plus conundrum clusters in order to make violet conundrum clusters and then we press those okay we need one violet and three rune dust and that makes a rune so basically we need to you made a spout and then we're going to do something place a spout above a conundrum block fill the spout with water and you'll see it actually spouting out of the block below it has to be below y equals 20 for the conundrum to grow the blocks are just extra but allow you to expand your farm if you ever need to I think the wax the basically means it won't work. Like I think wax is for when you want it to not to be pretty, but not actually, um, you know, do that same process. Oh, like wax copper doesn't age that sort yeah. of thing. Yeah, um, exactly. So what are we? I I'm just like, what are we doing? Does the spout cause the crystal clusters to grow and then we drill them? Is that what it is? I figure we, I mean, I, I don't know where this uh, giant cave you guys have talked about is. Is it, how do you get down to it? It's just right over here by the portal. Wait, so Zine, were you saying there is a conundrum right, block in one of the chests? Which one was it? I was saying we have a waxed corundum. Which I know, but I'm wondering one. if we put it down and ax it, if it will unwax it. Give it a try. Yeah, wh what chest was it? Um, you can use the search, but it's also modded block. Okay. Oh, there it is. Uh, let's see. Waxed red conundrum. Yep, you can unwax. So, maybe we only need the one? Well, this is... Abruptly ends into death. There's a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> this dude never looks down. So... Okay, so we're gonna need pumps and we're gonna need water. We and have pumps. okay, we got we pumps. Have water. Okay, we have a couple pumps. Maybe like I don't know how many pumps we're gonna need. And we got a spout, and then how do Ow. this do? The ladder nearly killed me. Ladders don't kill people, Zine. Zine kills people. Hurt people, hurt people. Um, oh, it has to be below Y equals 20. Oh, right. All right, we're gonna have to bring a shaft down. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. The carbuncle, the, the starbuncle, this is gonna be the solution. Oh my God. I'm gonna bring the starbuncle down and the starbuncle is gonna do this. This is gonna be crazy. Sounds pretty crazy. Yeah, dude. Ow! Apparently charred planks are still hot. How do you make one of these? 
Oh, wait, this is so e Holy frick! This could be an insane way for us to get, um, like, stress in remote places. Dude, that's Narbuncle for sure. I got stress in low places. Um. Oh, I wait, what, what are you, I wait, what do. are you doing? What are Sorry you doing? about the torches. Stripping logs. Wait, why are you stripping logs? So I can make an egg mechanism. Why, why you gotta, why you gotta... Oh, I thought you were exactly. trying to use the, the blazing archwood to do lava generation. I am. Oh, okay, you're just doing a little bit of both. Boreal extractors for it. Got it, got it, got it. Well, multitasking. Okay. Well, um, I'm just gonna go down. Zine, do you mind if I just dig down to Y equals 20 below your your place? Tear it up. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds goodage. I suppose maybe bringing some wood for ladders might not be the worst idea. Although, we could just make it swim up a bowl. Yeah. I'll do that. Viridium. All right, here we go. How much space do we need for this, I wonder? What's your hill? I said, yelled, yeah! Because I was zooming in and then, uh, um, with it, like binocularing and then the trying to deposit nearby things caught up with me and everything was, yeah! Yeah. That's crazy. everybody else okay if we need more space we got more space dangerous space but space nonetheless big fan of space me too it's pretty cool in theory the uh next uh Big starship test should be in a couple days. Mm. All goes well. well. That might be interesting. Outer space. I like it because it makes you feel super insignificant, and then you're like, "Ah, hey, you know what? Maybe things aren't that big of a deal after all." It is kind of a soothing thought, no? Mm -hmm. I also get like the same thing whenever I see a, you know, out of Earth view of our planet. Like, oh yeah. It's All my really... problems are on there. It's not really that big of a deal. <laughs> and I can't see them. This is kind of an interesting conversation. Yeah? I mean, space is pretty interesting. It is. Well, I realize there's not a lot of context there, but I, uh, you know, one of the, with the, the ketamine stuff, basically, you know, they, they, they hook you up, and then they uh, just... Um, you know, leave you to kind of figure out your life for a little while, mm -hmm. and then they, you know, while they monitor your your vitals and stuff. But to aid with the experience, as it were, um, they just put on like it's basically just space views, um, and and like you know, like meditation music, whoa, whoa, you know, kind of <laughs> stuff. And uh, um. You know, and then you just like sit in your own head for an hour thinking very deep, interesting thoughts or n less deep, less interesting thoughts is however the case goes. And has but, the space thing happened to cross your um, mind? 
so yeah yeah like the whole like you know this significance and and the importance of things the importance of or, or the anxiety of worrying about what is you know in comparison is micro things is definitely a thought process that can you know cross your mind in the midst of that environment uh -huh. mm. And since I had one of those today, you guys were like, oh, sometimes this makes me feel better. And I was like, I was doing that for an hour while drooling today. So, yeah. <laughs> so how is it for you during that? Uh, it's very hard to explain. Um, like, I, and I think that it's very personalized as well because it is, in a way, like, you just your subconscious talking to you, you know? Um, so it's it has it to do a lot with who you are and what you are. Um, but for me, it's like, uh, I, there's a lot of, um, kind of thinking about how I can, uh, I'm trying like, like, sorry, if it's like I said, it's difficult to, to, to vocalize, but no, yeah, like you I have my a, patience in this. I, it, you spend a lot of, or I've spent a lot of time trying to figure out like, uh, how to be less recriminating of yourself and to recognize that, you know, you're not still being judged. You're not still being graded. That was, uh, um, you know, that was a prevailing thought at one point. Mm. And, uh, you know, to kind of give yourself an out and let yourself make, make mistakes without, you know, self, um, you know, just you know, be, being mean to yourself. Um, Today was very much about like uh, you know kind of figuring out some of the core tenets of what I want to be, and then you know making that decision to push myself in that direction and achieve that that goal. But also in terms of kind of what you're saying, I've had uh, the issue Frick, where sleep. you only you need to sleep. I'm trying. I'm gonna try. Okay, we're good. Um, I've had the issue where I am in. It, it, it's kind of interesting. I don't know, it's it's a bigger conversation than really just you know chatting here and there. But um, I've been very very grounded and centered in my life, and I, I hmm. uh, am very logic based and think through things a lot. And they so right. they had a really difficult time getting me to properly have the experience per se um, because. The idea is, is to get you to a point where you're able to let go and just kind of listen to what, you know, your your subconscious wants to tell you or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but I, they're they, they they getting me to relinquish that like logical control even in the midst of a very heavily medicated uh, in, uh, event has been proven remarkably difficult for him. In fact, today was my last session. Um, the, the, the session before this one um, was the first time that I started really feeling like that I, I, the, that, uh, I felt like, okay, I can see where this could be helpful instead of it just being like, this is just an expensive way to have a kind of a crazy trip, you know? Mm -hmm. but, I, um, but the reason it took so long is just because they've kept upping my dose and upping my dose and it hasn't been able to... Uh, get me there, and even then, in the last one, they, uh, um, I was just kind of starting to, to to reach that point when the uh, when when the session ended. So this time, they actually took me above what their normal protocol is. So they had to get like they, you know, I mean, they, the the doctor specifically signed off on my case to give me a higher amount of of it than they normally would allow um and uh so it was enough that like it made me like i was nauseous after and everything like it was physiologically a lot of a lot of it but it did yeah, you gotta you know, feel like kind of being experimented on at that point almost well i mean it's it's not necessarily experimented as much as just everybody processes and reacts different and you're looking at a combination of the physiological changes and effects as well as the the mental and and you know and basically i just am hyper grounded so even though my body's reacting my mind's like i'm still here you know uh mm -hmm. and 
the idea is to kind of get you past that to where you're just letting it happen and that was something that we struggled with quite a bit mm. so anyway sorry jordan you're good i'm just ha i'm trying to figure out stuff and i don't know if i'm figuring out the stuff but i'm trying story of my life man story of my life uh i forgot my wrench I need to always have a wrench on me. Um, let's see. So I can't figure out for this uh, uh, conundrum cluster thing. It says you need a crafting table, and it says mix three conundrum clusters. And, and it's like, am, are we manually doing part of this, or are we doing it automated? Okay, it is automated. It's just saying like crafting, but it's it's mixing. Cool. Yeah, yeah, it should be fine. I don't know. It's just being weird about trying to require a crafting table. Oh, is that... Wait, what? Why did it do that? Why did you do that, Mr. Conundrum? What'd it do? It grew a block rather than a crystal. Oh. Well, that's dumb. Dumb. D U M B Dumba. Wait, you should do this at Y equals twenty so that what? The conundrum will grow an extra block of the cluster. Oh, so it doesn't grow up? Just out. Yeah. That's what I took from your description. Oh, so how do I, like, what's the, what's the mining? Like, what do we do in order to mine it? I mean, I would say grow it, and then we'll figure that out. Let's see. Drill the block and capture the crystals that fall. Okay, I see. I see, but, all right, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Fascinating. Oh, shoot, I should have brought some gearboxes down. Bro, you forget just, like, how many things you actually need in order to do anything. Who? <gasps> I after, need gearboxes. Uh, after I create above and beyond, I just gearboxes, small cogs, and my wrench are just perpetually in my inventory. And yeah. uh, the encased chain drives. Okay, let's see. Gearbox. I have cogs, and I need to make more cogs. I must have wood on me. Okay, this will be fine. Hopefully that will be, yeah, a re we just need an entire chest that is gearboxes and gearboxes only. The worst part is having to go up and down for this. Ugh. Blah. It's blue, dude. It's the worst blue. Um, so if I wanted to, wait a minute, should I could do this? And then I could do these. And then I could do uh these. Yeah, there we go. That's my boy. That's my boy. Oh, now he's freaking zooming. Look at my boy go. Look what that did to my boy. I should do this slightly different direction, though. I gotta see this boy. Wait, have you not seen my boy yet? I wanna see him in action. Okay. There we go. Look at him go. Look at him go. 
Okay, so the there spout is doing the thing. Now what happens if we mine the block? There's a little, like, water squirties. Oh, and then it grows another. And then I break it, and then we have to collect the things. Okay, cool. So then the drill will go, and it'll be cool. Yeah, look at him go, dude! He's so determined. I know. I hope he where, reaches where his goal this? one day. Get that goal block, man. Where is this? Uh, this is, if you go down into your underground area, then just, like, keep following the water down, you will end up down here. There's like another little bit right here. Okay, so now, God, it's like we need a vacuum hopper or something. What is the best way to collect this stuff and route it into the next place? That is the question. With drills? Well, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna mine it with a drill, but then I'm trying to think like, what is our best way of grabbing Belt it? Because it's on. I ju yeah, I guess just like several belts and then several drawers or something like that. Why several drawers? I guess we route the belts to one final destination, then drawer it. Yeah, 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 yeah. A hopper minecart would also potentially work. That's so true. We could hopper minecart it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so where should I put where's, the drill? Where's your little working dude? He's right over here. Look at him go. Look at him go. What a guy. Oh, there he is. He's just running. He's so determined to help. It's so cool. Okay, we could do that. And then we do... This is going to be beautiful, I B hope. BRB? Okay. Guys, do you think that this is, like, is the drill going to be going too fast here? Overstressed. Oh, no! He doesn't do very much stress! Oh, I thought that he would be... I thought he would be ready to just frickin' vroom, but he's not vrooming very hard. Oh, no. Yeah, do we not need all those pumps? Maybe we don't need all the pumps, but still. I need more, I need more of these mans. I wanted this whole factory to be just. Ah, frick! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> Everything is fine. I just tried to pick Everything up the headphones good. and put them on my head. I had already picked up my headphones, put them on my head, and my hands literally grabbed around empty air. And I was like, what is I've wrong with that. me? Yeah. There, yeah. there are things that are concerning about myself, and that's one of them. Thank goodness the creeper blew up in water. That was so fortunate. I just had a moment of thinking I, it was the end for me. Um, and then I got very lucky that the creeper was in water when it exploded. Nice. Yeah, it was, was there a creeper it, down there? Yeah, it dropped in via like a one block opening and it was just like surprise mother trucker and then almost blew up everything including my boy. Pete? Pete? I found the lava. No, I actually wanted that. That worked. Oh, that was like me in the basalt delta when I was like I want to reset this run. Well, were yeah. you looking for lava this time? Or that time? What do you mean? Hey, were you looking for the lava when you reset? Well, no, it's just in a basalt delta. It's, you don't actually have to look for lava in a basalt delta. It was not. You know. Okay, maybe we don't need, like, all those pumps, because this thing is, yeah, it's a little much. Maybe we just balls. Maybe it's just balls. Maybe we just balls. Maybe one is enough. Yeah, one's probably enough, honestly. Okay, and then... So are you getting violet right now? I'm getting red conundrum. Um, if we want to swap it, like we totally can. I'm not sure if it is advised it seems or like something like that. everything that I'm seeing is turning into violet. You give it some rune dust and then it turns to violet. So... 
Interesting. Um, like, I think that's probably with the crafting that we're going to be performing on it. Like, it does say any conundrum, right? So then you take any of that conundrum and presumably you work on it. Make three corundum clusters with a rune dust to make three violet corundum. So, okay. Yeah. And then the violet conundrum goes with the rune dust in order to make a rune. Does it skip a step if we just get a violet conundrum to start with? I mean, maybe we need... Really, at the end of the day, we just need a rune from somewhere, right? So uh -huh. that's where that's where it's like we need to add rune dust to make this into violet, but we need to find a rune in order to do that initial thing. Kilroy says it is more efficient with violet to start. Okay. Okay. But I, I mean, I wandered around. I don't know where it's supposed to spawn, but I went down into the cave for... 10, 15, 20 minutes, and I didn't see any corundum around that I was able to identify and find. Yeah, I am I am not sure where you would find the thing. Hmm. So it sounds like that's more like to be convenient, but that's... I think a corundum has like its own uh, cave biome. It wouldn't just like be around randomly. Does it? Okay. Yeah, I think it's like Corundum Caves you go into and it's pretty dramatic. I mean, if we can find some, then that might be good. I mean, I could well, set up... Well, I'm not going to be the one to suggest it, but there might be an item that could point you in the direction of it. <laughs> could there? Could there be something like that, perhaps? I do, I do believe so. That's fascinating to know Doesn't about, Doesn't sound right actually. to me. Hmm. Let's see. There is no biome that is specifically conundrum. We did. I did see yellow off in the distance. Um, I kind of noticed it when, be, but uh, okay. So we just need to. I, I like you have cor uh, corundum, and you're growing the the crystals. Yeah. So it feels like we just need the rune dust, and we're good to go. How do we get that initial rune dust? We just need to find one of the runic ores, which I don't think is super difficult. Um, let's see. Let's search crystal. Oh, crystal caves. But that's Terralith. Hmm. Not found in a radius of 10,000. So. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like some outside the box down there. Hmm. I'm gonna go, let me go check, let me go check. I might actually, like, I'm gonna, somebody says they think uh, they saw some outside of my box, which, if we think outside the box, maybe works. I like the way you think. Let's see. Oh yeah, there actually is some conundrum out here, that is true. Um, well. In that case, maybe, but is it violet though? And if it's not violet, how do we get violet? Oh, wait, there's some yellow. Um, there's red. It's just yellow and red here. I don't know if like certain biomes get certain colors. But yeah, it's definitely just red and yellow right here. What the frick? What is happening? Killing some mobs. Oh, are you down there? I was like, how is this happening without any, like... Oh, yeah, I'm done. Okay. Are you trying to I'm find some wondering. conundrum? Uh, yes, and also recover my body. Oh, this is where you died. Close to, yes. That is most unfortunate. Oh, wow, what a 
find this is. Hmm. Did you find Violet? No, but I found something. Let's do. <laughs> Wait, what did I miss? Sorry, I found a book and it does. <laughs> It you launches find... mobs? Oh, that's cool. Oh. It's just a permanent aura? You can basically just free... not have to worry about mobs anymore? Kind of? Huh. Uh, whenever I'm out of the caves, I'll show you guys this. This is kind of neat. I wonder how this would work with phantoms when we don't have to sleep again. There's no way did that. Here. Oh, God. <laughs> He's having a day, guys. I'm having a day again. Ooh. Ah, there's a big old Kitsune. It's double randomiums. Let's go. Don't let it fool you into thinking you can bring it back home. That thing's permanently hostile. Randomium? I was, I was unfooled. Woo! Okay, bye bye. It is gone. I didn't know there were trapped um, underground campsite things. But there definitely are. Well, what do you I mean by trapped? It was, I opened a chest and it was trapped and uh, TNT. Oh, yeah, there's been a few of those I've seen. Oh, I haven't. I've had better luck, apparently. Well, I am not seeing any of that violet conundrum, and I have a bad feeling it could just take absolutely ages to come up with some, so maybe we just do whatever extra work has to go into making the violet from the existing. I mean, it sounded like it was just one step anyway. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Mmm, beans. Alrighty, well, I guess I'll make a minecart hopper and uh, collect the stoof from there. Stoofify. Is there like a create way to, um, you know, uh, more effectively take things out of a minecart hopper? Uh, a shoot? Oh, that is true. Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. We're going to keep going like down, 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 down. Oh, no. I can elevate it, I guess. Okay. Down, down, hippie, jibby, dibby. Mm, powered rail. I have not seen any runic ore. Okay, so we got that. Um, that is good. Maybe I'll need some belts up in here. Shoot. I gotta figure out what the steps are for this. Um, okay. So you mix the conundrum with a runic dust, and then that makes violet conundrum clusters. And with the violet conundrum clusters, you do what? Oh, then you combine with more rune dust. But how do you get more of the rune dust? 
Milling the rune. That gets you four of those. It looks like there's a net positive on the milling the rune potentially, but we need to find starter runes. Was kind of how it. Right, was. right. So you okay? So you mill the rune. That gives you four rune dust, and then how many of the rune dust gets used in the thing? Um, so you use one to convert to violet, and then you use. Three, but you use three to. Uh, I don't see where we are net positive. Okay. Because it take well, it takes three rune dust plus a violet to make the rune. And then, but one extra is required to make the violet. So isn't that taking four each time? Sounds like it. Um. You get. Yeah, you get multiple violets, but that doesn't... Hmm. Huh. You get two violets extra every run. Yeah, I can see why it'd be helpful to just have the violet conundrum, but unfortunately you can't just make it. You have to find it. Hmm. Whatever, I'll try to set up the things, and uh, then people will be certainly happy to tell me where I went wrong. Um, they do be that way. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take those, and then we need the first room dust, and so we're going to do a mixer, and then we're going to have to have some loop to bring it back, and I don't know how that's going to happen, but we'll see. I think, unfortunately, I'm going to have to bring the stress down from our windmill, which is very sad. Why is it sad? Because I was hoping that the uh, Starbuncle was going to be able to do everything, but it doesn't seem like the Starbuncle is going to be able to do everything. So it's just very sadage. I see. Yeah, you know. Um, it's okay, though. We'll make another gearbox and we'll just bring down some of that stress right right down here. Who oh, freaking balls I deposited my shaft. Excellent. I'll do that. Pete? Hmm? How's the recovery going? Dude, I don't want to talk about it, man. Do you want help? Do you need help? Yeah, that's... I'm, I'm good. It's just my body was floating in the middle of a giant lava lake. And I, like, I didn't expect the ceiling to be so tall, so I couldn't recover. So you know, we, we can help you. Well, no, I'm I'm good now. Like I'm, able, I'm I I have my stuff, but it was just funny because like in order to get to my body, I needed to put water down to create obsidian on the lava, and doing that, it pushed my body under the obsidian. Under, under the obsidian. Yeah. Ah. Ow balls. Oh. God dang it. Guys, um, surely we're going to dig right in. Yeah, we're going to dig right into our spot. Okay, cool. This is good. This is good. So with that done, um, now we have lots and lots of stress down here, and our boy can keep running forever, powering that whole configuration, and maybe more. But now we can start to get some serious bidness up in here, you know? Okay, so we want to... We have to basically... 
the make the a thing. Of... We have to make a hopper minecart track under here. The and then... Now. Yeah, don't like those guys. And then balls. Frick. Uh, how do we do this without it being terrible? That's a good question. So... Did I leave the rails up top again? Where did I leave the rails? I left the rails. Holy frick, I left the rails! Oh my god! So then it's gonna come up over here to this side. And, um, dude, we need applied energistics or some remote thing that I can just access everything from anywhere, anytime so badly. Frick, I miss the occultism so much. I miss occultism. I want occultism back. Please bring it back. This is relatable. I'm pretty sure I'm part goldfish. As someone's chat said, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm part goldfish. You see, the problem is I'm doing the auto deposit to try to clear out my inventory, but then inevitably I end up just stacking things um, into existing chests and it exits items out of my inventory and I can't go mentally check what are all the items that stacked into the existing chests. Oh God, what did I forget? It's freaking annoying. Uh, really quiet for us. Yeah, we're enjoying the single player series here. No problem. Everyone, no problem. Yeah. Just focusing on our focus. I'm just mad because I keep like I'm stacking items into chests, so I lose items from my inventory that I then actually end up needing, and then I go underground, and then I'm like, oh, I don't have the item that I needed in order to do this and this and this, and then I have to go back up because it's so freaking frustrating not having a wireless ME system or something like that that I can use to access things wherever I am. Ooh, anyway, it's great. And I'm frustrated, frustrated for him. Thank so you. It's just a chain reaction. I always on. appreciate Pete's empathy. I don't even know where I where the frick are the rails. Where do we put the rails? What chest? You made the system. Holy frick! Where did I put the rails, man? Guys, I don't know where I put the rails. Oh, I just make more, more new ones. Uh, if you click Y on it, does it show in the chest where it is? Why? What do you mean? Do you search up rail and hover over it and click Y? Uh, search rail, hover over it and click Y. Oh! Yo, I missed that one. That's cool. Really happy to have that mod in here. That is very cool. But I hope you are, Pete. I made this. Oh, you developed that mod? I'm not even gonna joke about that. My career is probably like, dude, you better <laughs> watch your time. <laughs> dude, I didn't realize Pete was such a coder, bro. I've coded one plugin in my life, and it ends with that. No, ah, oh, frick you. Oh, balls. My least favorite plugin to code was when I was trying to, uh, uh, create some Lua plugins for WoW, for, or, or create, create some WoW plugins in Lua. That was by far my least favorite of the things I've done, the places I've seen. What is Lua? Lua is a programming language. Oh, I guess it doesn't. It oh. doesn't need to cover that anyway. It's it not going to fall there, so we're fine. So we can just I, do that and be it's good. It's one I say with disdain, given my personal experience. But I'm sure there's. I've heard of Lua because it. there is a Minecraft mod that like allowed you to pro. Computercraft, isn't it? I think Computercraft uses Lua. I'm sure that given time and understanding, Lua is perfectly fine and acceptable. Uh, I did not give it neither time nor did it give me understanding. So uh, mm -hmm. we were we were not not the best friends. Not the best of friends. I'm sure Lua was trying its best. Sometimes intent doesn't matter, you know. Yeah. Whoa. Do be that way. Don't worry, Zin, I got you. 
not about intent, but about results. Mm. Boom. Wait, does that work? Can I do that? Oh, I can't do that. Can you not put a rail on top of a chute? No. Oh. You cannot put a rail on top of a chute, it would appear. You're trying to make it so when the minecart goes over the chute, all the items get deposited into it? Yeah, or... that don't work. You can't do that. Hmm. What is the best extraction mechanism, then? Huh. Could a hopper go on top of a chute, and you just put the rail on top of the hopper? Yeah, it was more about making sure that it has the speed, but I, I suppose if the thing is looping quickly and we just hit it on a hopper, then it's probably fine, maybe? But hoppers do kind of... They're not the best if the minecart gets a lot of stuff in it. How much stuff do we think it's going to get on every pass, sir? Um, at most, probably like three crystals or something like that. I suppose, yeah, I could do more. Are you on the other side of me right now? I might just be. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, I hear you. Oh. You hear my fart? Uh, no, I heard you talking. Oh, okay. The disappointment there. Guess you I want to just be identified do by one Did you way want me to say only. that I heard you through that? I just wanted to make sure my farts were being recognized is all. Okay, then yes, I did hear you from your fart. Okay, cool. Okay, so we'll do... That'll collect the stuff. And then I guess we'll triple hopper there, maybe? And then the hoppers will all go into the next stage or something? Hmm. Oh, I just need to bring things down here. Oh my god. Frick off. Let's see. Negative 50 to negative 60. What's negative 50 to negative 60? We're being advised that Runic is around. Oh, okay. God, I thought it was like you have to do in order to, for you to find like some other thing that you have to automate or you have to make the stuff. You set up the factory negative 50 to negative 60. And I was like, good God, I thought 20 was rough. Oh, well, the factory I'm setting up is going to be there. I forgot to get my iron. Uh! <laughs> oh, this is cow, this man. entire episode Holy is just me cow, going man. up and down, trying to buy the world's biggest backpack and just to have every single thing in it imaginable. This episode is a real roller coaster, that's for darn sure. Not a fake one. It's pretty cool that it's not a fake roller coaster. Ahem. <clears throat> Oh yeah, mine some random. Is have you not mined randomium, dude? Randomium. Blue ice carving block. Randomium is the highlight of everything. Is it? Oh yeah. I shall bear that. It was in. It was in above and beyond as well. Yeah, I know. I remember it. Oh okay. I gotta make, gotta make all them. I forgot. Oh, 
Okie dokie. Mm. Times like these, I consider investing in some sort of vein mining ability. Uh, yeah, vein mining is pretty good. I would highly recommend it. It's just an enchant you get from one of your slaves, isn't it? Um, no, 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 no. I got mine randomly from just table. Ah. Yeah. Okay, this may work. Oh, we. Oh, God, I'm in the way. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, frick. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, frick. Wait, does it actually go through? Whoa. Okay, that's kind of gnarly. That's really gnarly. That must be a modded thing. Okay, it didn't like that. Huh? Why does this... What? I'm very confused right now. That would explain the confused sound you're making. What? Huh? Right there, yeah, guy. Yeah, it's just uh, a little bit of a weirdness is happening at the moment. What? You literally clear that! Literally. That's literally. the most garbaggio thing I've ever seen in my life. What? Oh, you're kidding me with that. That's just that's just ridiculous. That's just absurdity. I've never seen any sort of absurdity like this in my life. What a silly goose. Hey, uh, what's going on? It's being a silly goose. All right. Cleared that up. Just the silliest goose that you've ever seen. Basically, just it's just minecarts doing minecart things is all. Okay, I think maybe this will work now instead of it being a uh, big dummy. Okay, good job, buddy. Good job. Holy frick, it's gotten fast. God, it's gonna be so obnoxiously loud, isn't it? It really is. This is good. Honestly, if it's slightly slowed down, it's better. It gives it more contact time with the hoppers. Um, so it ensures everything gets removed. So, um, okay, this should mostly work. I now actually need to bring the conundrum back down just to double check it uh, and see that it actually inserts into whatever inventory we have attached. But, um, Wait, did I leave? Okay, we have the conundrum here. Good. Let's give it a try. Let's see how it works. Fingies crossed. Why do you not grow? You were growing so quickly before. What are you waiting for? Don't make me hook up another pump. There it is. That is not so. My magnet is off. Why did that go to me? Okay, I am gonna need to actually block this in, aren't I? Yeah, I'm gonna need to do that. 
that's balls. It's not collecting right there, frick. Are some, okay, some of the stuff is going, but that is an empty space, frick. Oh God, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I don't know if there's a way to like prevent the Good. items from landing on um, top is the only the issue. The trees but... that you need for the arboreal extractor for, or what are they called? Uh, blazing archwood. Seem to have different requirements than standard least. trees. You can't just do three logs and a few leaves. I think you need like almost the entirety of the tree. Um, so I was trying to find an area where I, I could grow like a couple of large ones underground. And I figured the best place to do that would be at negative 54 next to a lava lake. Where there's like a lot of open space. I also think thematically that would look cool too. So, a lot of what I've been doing is just oh, trying to find right. like a good lava Locks lake. landing right on top will get pushed off when it grows to? again. So, I, this is the only up. problem is this one right here. One, and uh, it was actually commented that it would be a very um, ideal one because it was big enough that we could do infinite lava out of it with the boy system. But with the what? Yeah, I'll just break this system? really quick. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that. I suppose but could be a solution too. How could but. I do this? Yeah, I mean, there's whatever direction we want to go there. I'm not trying to um send you down a path. Is there even a I've way already been to sent like down quite do a few. That? Then can you turn around? I want to make sure this doesn't work on you. There's not really a way to do that, is there? Hmm. Oh, it does. Water oh, block really, to push it really into really a does. corner. Interesting. <laughs> That's super obnoxious, but I guess we could do it. It's like up and over. Yeah, it's like a. I thought it was just like a up. Okay, so apparently one, it's a two. Okay, I'm gonna. All right. Three. <laughs> Making it a little difficult. Four, I'm not gonna lie. Five, six. Seven, I think once I activate it, eight. it stays for a minute, and I can't deactivate it. Fair enough. The first two you, or the first one was my fault. The second one you walked into. Third one was my fault. I should have moved. I'm. I'm not uh, that does I'm not work. assigning blame to anyone. That just sounds like rudeness. I agree. In the efficiency book. There was officially yeah. five one of the villager trades that we have. Sadly, no. Okay. I thought that was the one that you got like for like 400 whatevers. I think that was Fortune. Yes. Fortune was the kind of expensive one. Okay, um, I have got us a conundrum generation system uh, going at the moment. It's not got the next steps wired into it, but it is developing conundrum and putting it into a chest or I can uh you know turn it into a drawer or something like that nice yeah why is there a villager raid over here there's a villager raid there is in our oh, it's just it's just a group of vill uh, vill not villagers uh pillagers but it's not a raid Got it. Okay, so what is the next step out of here is to throw it into the mechanical mixer balls. Take that. Mechanical mixer balls. Mechanical mixer balls. Great if I could do this above ground where I have a great deal more space. Or you know what actually we need to do? Make a freaking tinker's hammer. Duh. My life changed in create above and beyond when I made a tinker's hammer.
Um, okay. How you guys doing? Sounds like a lot of uh, intense focus. Hey. Very much so. I'm, I'm off to go get an efficiency of five villager. I'm achieving nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> it is what it is. Are you just searching for that ore? I was. Now I'm back up at the top and looking at other things. Understandable. Okay. Cool. So I need to root that. Do we have um like a is there a mod that gives like a piping system that makes it easy to root things between create items? You guys know? Outside of piping the system? Pipes? Yeah. Yeah, do we actually have a pipe create pipes, which are what we've been using with the arboreal extractors and stuff? Right, that's fluid. I mean for items. Belts? Yeah, no, I'm just, I know we have belts, but belts, you know, require stress and all that stuff, and it's easier okay. if you can do it differently. Uh, that's not a belt, so I'm not sure. Okay. That's uh, what the belts are for, so I, I, you know, I understand what you're saying. You'd rather have, like, enter I.O. pipes or something, but... Um, all right, well, I feel like I'm gonna have to plan some designage on how to execute this. I just feel, I don't know why I'm, I feel very dumb not realizing how to visualize the, uh, the way that we are going to net positive the dust on this. But anyway, I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Also, holy frick, do I really need to get a Tinker's Hammer? The Tinker's Hammer, not easily craftable? Oh, no, it's not too bad. I just haven't, like, spent the time to do it. Um, ah, okay. You just need to make a few casts and then go through the uh, tedious process of figuring out, oh, what am I going to make it out of? And then everybody tells you um, you're an idiot for making it out of the wrong materials. This is why you should have done it differently. Jesus. So, <laughs> um, it's uh, we've got a lot of mods and things in this particular mod pack that lend themselves very much to uh, you're not doing it right. Optimization is something that usually people strive to see done often you're never able to do it as great as they'd like you to but mm -hmm. you know I've, I've come to realize when it comes to like modded stuff the um if you start a sentence with can't you or isn't there the answer is almost ultimately yes but i didn't think of that mm -hmm. you're talking about if someone watching says can't you yeah, exactly. It's like, they know you can do it, but I didn't know I could do it. Uh-huh. You are supposed to be an encyclopedia, Pete. You can't long spell... This long, you you can't spell be. encyclopedia without Pete. That's not how that word says. <laughs> you made that up. Nope, that's 100% real. I can't believe I'm being lied to right now. This that is a hundred percent the He's realest thing you. ever said. Ever said. Um, guys, I may I may have to get moving uh, in a few minutes. Sadly, well, okay. I will miss my boys. Um, I'll miss you too, man. This is it, guys. Oh, look at this pretty backpack. That's so cool. Blue and orange. Nice color combo. Um, All right. See. 
Well, are you wanting to wrap it up then? Um, that may be the case of what is uh, in need in the cards for us. Okie dokie. Well, we want to thank our sponsor, uh, Apex Hosting, providing the server we've been playing on. If you would like to play with your friends, whether it be our current mod pack, our previous mod packs, any mod pack at all, or not a mod pack, please uh, check out the link in our description. You can save 25% off, and you'll help support uh, our sponsors, and they help support us. So thank you very much all around. Um, don't forget, we create these live. Twitch.tv slash Pizza Hut, Twitch.tv slash Zine, and Twitch.tv slash Captain Sparkles. Throw some follows, and come say howdy hey, and uh, see all the extra stuff that can make it in that isn't always recorded. And then if you have enjoyed, then as always, we do implore you, please hit that like button. Leave us a comment letting us know uh, what your favorite moment was. And, uh, you know, if you haven't already, then consider subscribing and turning on notifications. Anything for you two before we head on out? That's it for me. That will be all. All right. Bye, guys. Later. Farewell.